Welcome. This is Mohamed Jafari, professor of English studies at the Faculty of Arabic Language, Qadiyyad University, Marrakesh. Today, we discuss how or the way to articulate, to construct hypothesis. Following are the points to be discussed in this video. Uh, what's the definition of hypothesis? And then the role of hypothesis. Why should we construct hypothesis? Then what, what are the characteristics of appropriate hypothesis? And then we close with practice and construction of uh, hypothesis. First, a hypothesis is an unverified answer. Unverified means not confirmed yet whether it is true or false. An answer to a research question about a phenomenon, a relationship, or situation. Relationship between variables. So what is a variable? A variable is a quantity, it can be numbers, statistics, a quantity, or, condi or condition, a situation that can change or vary. That's why it is called variable. So these are elements, parts of the situation to be studied. There are different types of variables. Uh, as component of the situation. An independent variable is the factor that one changes or controls. The researcher changes it, uh, have control of it. Or uh, a, a dependent variable is the factor that one observes uh, and studies, doesn't change. It changes with the independent variable. Let's have an example. For example, daily apple consumption by old people leads to fewer doctors' visits. So, daily apple consumption is the independent variable that changes. It can be daily, it can be um, weekly, and so on. And leads to fewer doctors' uh, visits. So these visits depends on uh, how much uh, or how many apples uh, the old people consume. Now, what's the relationship between research question and hypothesis? So, the research question leads to the hypothesis, and hypothesis is an answer to a research question. For example, what are the health benefits of eating an apple a day? So, this is a question. It can be answered, so this is uh, a hypothesis, which is unverified answer. Increasing apple consumption by over 60s, by people who are 60, 60 years old and more, will result in decreasing frequency of doctor's visit. Another example, how does habitual eight hours sleep affect reading focus span? The answer or the unverified answer uh, is reading focus span grows after habitual eight hours uh, of sleep. The third example is, what effect does daily use of social media have on exam scores of under 60s? So under 60s are students who are 16 years old uh, and more. So the answer, or the tentative answer is that there is negative correlation between time spent on social media and the exam scores in under 60s. Now, if the hypotheses are such, what's the benefit of using uh, hypothesis in a research? First, 
It tells what aspects of the problem to focus on. For example, in this, exam, in this example, if a 60s person consumes an apple a day, we will focus on consuming an apple a day and not anything else. Then the frequency of his visits to a doctor. We will also uh, concentrate on uh, the frequency of his visits to a doctor and not the way he sleeps, the way he does sport, the way he speaks, not anything else but visiting the uh, doctor's uh, office. Then Second, it tells what data to collect or not to collect. So we will focus on the number of visits and not anything else. Not uh, the number of meals uh, the 60s person eats. No, his visits to a doctor. The third, and it is based on the first two, is that this way we will achieve objectivity in research. Now, uh, what are the characteristics of appropriate hypothesis? We have an example, the same example. So first thing is that it should be specific. It means that it should be clear and no room, there is no room for ambiguity. Here in this example, we are talking about a 60s person, not youth, not children. So it is specific about the age group. And then we are talking about an apple a day, not anything else, not any other food. And we will focus on uh, counting the visits. So it, that's why it is uh, specific. Then logical, it should be learned, it should be informed, it should be educated. It means that the uh, uh, hypothesis should be based on previous, uh, on, on reading of previous uh, researchers or theories. That's why it should be learned. It should be uh, educated and not a random guess. The third characteristic is that it should be testable, researchable, not anything else that cannot be researchable such as after that. After that cannot be uh, researchable, cannot be tested. The fourth is that it can be refused. It can be refused, refutable, it can be false. If a hypothesis is not false, cannot be false, it's not a hypothesis. Now, let's uh, practice in hypothesizing, and this is an example. You should follow this example. Hypothesis, drinking an energy drink before bed will result in less sleep. So, what are the variables here? What is the independent variable? Independent variable is the drinking energy, uh, is drinking the energy drink. That is that the researcher can change. Then, dependent variable is the amount of sleep. So the researcher will uh, study the amount of sleep the person uh, have after drinking energy drink. Control variables are the components, the elements that uh, doesn't change, that remain constant during the research, such as bedtime, the time shouldn't, shouldn't change, place of sleep, uh, brand of drink, if, uh, if the researcher gives uh, sweet drink or juice, for example, uh, it shouldn't change it, it should remain the same. Type of drink, amount of drink, uh, one bottle, it should be given one bottle each time. How long before bedtime? It's not to give the drink two hours before and the next time one hour before. No, all these should be controlled, so controlled variables. Now, as an, as an exercise, so the hypothesis is is as follows. People reading books for 30 minutes a day live about two years longer than those who don't. Now you should show the independent variable 
and the independent variable and the control variable. This is the exercise that you should okay, uh, answer uh, online. The second exercise, here we have the, uh, the question or the research question. What is the impact of the amount of night sleep spent before the day of the exam on the test scores? So that person sleeps at 11 p.m. and wakes up at 6. So uh, what are the uh, results? What are the impacts of, these, of this habit on the score? So now you should show the hypothesis and then the variables. The last uh, exercise is that we have here the independent, dependent, and controlled variables. You should uh, construct a uh, question, a research question, hypothesis, a hypothesis. These are the references used in this video, and uh, this is Mohammed Jafari, and thank you for your attention.